of freedom, his spirit was born. Thorough, they named him Thorough, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thorough, they named him Thorough, to be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Just like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, yes, the king, he will be. The alpine dawn heralds a crisp new day. The air is fresh with an invigorating edge and the birds and animals feel from the rays of the sun that the day will be hot and still. For the wild mountain horses, it's a time to bathe and frolic and roll and enjoy their freedom. Thaura and his brother Storm no exceptions. But even they have to be wary of the ever-present danger of man. The man is stirring early. Oh, it might be a good day to head for the ram's head. What do you think, Thara? 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 This is pretty stupid, Thara. Ah, you worry too much, Storm. I know what I'm doing. You know this man won't rest until he's captured you. What the... Out of my way. Out of my way. A traffic jam. This time of the morning. Clear the path, I say. Just a minute, Wombat. Young animals these days have no respect for other people's business. It's way past me bedtime. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> oh. Let that be a lesson to you. Keep out of the way or you'll get hurt. Watch out ahead. Wombat coming through. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't funny, Sarah. Yes, it is. Now, what were you saying? What I was trying to say is... Oh, keep out of trouble. <laughs> Perhaps you should take some of your own advice. <laughs> Come on, Storm. It was just a nip. What'll you be like if you ever get into a fight with a stallion? Oh, better than you if you get into a fight with a man and his black horse. <laughs> this is our country, Storm, and I know it backwards. Pardon me, son of Yaraman. I have heard tales of this black horse from my cousins in the lowlands. He is the fastest and strongest stock horse in the district and knows the high country as well as his owner. You'd do well to keep your wits about you. Thank you for the advice, Mrs Dingo. I don't mean to sound brash, but I do have the eyes and ears of the bush on my side. And you will need them, for there is talk among the cattle of another Brumby hunt. Then we'll be on our guard and on our way. Thank you. They're pretty nervous, aren't they, Echo? Oh, boy. Relax. Relax. You hungry? Oh, relax. That's it. Good boy. Eat up. It's all right, boy. I'm not going to hurt you. See? See? He knows. Plenty of good food. No more foraging. No need to be scared. It's nice, isn't it? That's it, boy. Just relax. Tomorrow I'll start the search for your silver man friend. The handsome devil won't get away from me this time. Boop! 
poke, mo poke, don't provoke. Trouble can come with man. He's looking for tracks. Young horses who get too cocky find their future rather rocky. Mopoke, mopoke. Quite finished, mopoke. Thank you. Sorry, Echo. The going was rougher than I thought. Oh, was that your idea of keeping out of danger, Thara? <laughs> Relax, Brother Storm. If I don't test my skills against him and his black horse when I can control it, Storm, how will I ever know if I can defeat him when there's real danger? Anyway, if I keep beating the man, maybe he and his friends won't try to hunt us. Come on, Thara. <sighs> Men have been hunting us since they first came to the high country. Why you take such risks, I don't... Because know. Thara <laughs> likes to show off Storm, so the fillies will fall in love with him and the other cults will think he's brave. What he does is easy. Anyone can do it. He just makes it look hard. If you so... think that, Arrow, then you're a bigger fool than you you're appear. You're just scared that I would do better than you. <laughs> Let's see who's best. Let's challenge the man well, now. Where's the sport in that? His horse is lame. Even Wombat could beat him in a chase now. You're a coward, Thaura. And a show-off. I've got better things to do than listen to this rubbish. Me too. Coward, coward, Thaura is a coward. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm sure they're friends of Arrow's. Mm, you remember the one to stop and catch it last week? In that hunt when Clever Arrow... When Clever and Handsome Arrow skillfully managed to escape the men's trap and... Stop! Now get back to Rocky and Woomera. Fancy them still being in the high country and at Dead Horse Hut. A dead horse hut? Yes, and they must be enjoying it. They already seem quite tame. I suppose they must be pack horses. Mm, there he goes, their freedom. Such a pity. My sentiments exactly. Enough, are... you two. Now give me a moment to think. Maybe we should tell Thara about this. That's it. Good boy. Trot out. That's it. Nice and smooth. Good boy. Poor Rocky and Woomera. I'll have to rescue them. You may be too late, Arrow. <laughs> Your friends are becoming too used to the ways of man. The men don't worry me. If Thara can outfox the men, so can I. Don't be so sure. It's easy. I'll take them by surprise. <laughs> oh. Come on, 
Rocky, Woomera! Rocky, Woomera, what are you doing? I came to rescue you. Break free! Break... Yeah! Rocks! Storm! Storm! Quick! We've got to get out of here! The men! Yeah. What have you done now, Arrow? No time to explain! Hurry! Let's just get out the other end of this valley! There isn't one! And you've left us no time to trick our way out! Run for it! Gather round, everyone, gather round. Uh, have we got some news for you? Yes, have we got some news? <laughs> Get out of here, you scatterbrain. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way, boss. Almighty and magnificent Bralga. Get that rubbish out of the way. I've got the latest news. <laughs> The men captured Arrow and Storm. <laughs> Serves those damn young idiots right. That Arrow is a fool. Pity that insolent Thaura wasn't captured too. Alas, sire, he wasn't with them. Uh... Hey! Hey, what about me? Get me out of here! Get me out of here! According to the Karawong, Thara wasn't with them. Gang, gangs. Quiet. Thank you. This is dreadful news, Boon Boon. Arrow is ruled by many things, but never his brain. You're right. We better let Thara know. Hopefully he'll know what to do. Just pretend they aren't here. Well, I'm not talking to them. Some friends they turned out to be. It's not their fault. The man... <laughs> Arrow? <laughs> There's the Brolga's spy. He mustn't see you with us, Boon Boon. Moop. 
poke, mo poke, master stroke. Thal is going to break their yo. Very clever, mo poke, but how? Mo poke, mo poke, don't ask me. You're the horse. You get them free. <laughs> Great, thanks a lot. That was a terrific help, mo poke. Well, we can't just leave them there. If they were kangaroos, they could just hop out. Well, that's not a lot of help either, Benny. I thought you were the wisest creature in the high country. Usually. Thara? It's the hobbles that are the problem. If we could just... Ow! Not again. No consideration. Just no consideration. Off to dinner. Another traffic jam. Out of my way. Out of my way. Or I'll bite this one like I bit the other one. Now look here, Wombat. You're not the only animal in the bush. These parts are forever... You're right. Good Wombat. We shall clear your path. But first, let's talk. I think you might be our answer. Mm. What was the question? You see, wise and worthy Wombat, we need your help. No. Out of the question. Absolutely not. But you don't know what we want yet. Can't be done. Dinner to be got, mouth to be fed. But Wombat... So you see, you're the only one who can help. All right. All right. Just stop the charm and the nagging. I can't stand charm and nagging. I'll have to check it out first, though. Not committing myself till I see what the job's like. Can't be done. Take too long. What if there were others? Possible. Very possible. But not possible. Why ever not? Oh, too much bother. Oh, please, Wombat. I might have to start charming and nagging you again. Stop, stop. Hold your horses, anything but that. <laughs> Hold your horses. <laughs> it's not bad. Hey, very good. Hey, hold your horses there. Dear, wonderful, amazing Wombat. OK, please. OK. I'm going. I'm going. Wrong way, Wombat. And be careful. <laughs> Keep quiet. Keep still, all of you horses. To work, wombats. Is anything happening? It just looks normal down there. What is it, boy? Oh, that was close. They've started again. I think I can make out one that near Storm's legs. I don't think they've started on Arrow yet. Maybe I should have got Wombat to leave the hobbles on Arrow, teach him a lesson for being so stupid. Arrow may do some foolish things, Thara, but you must admit, he did care enough about his friends to try and rescue them. I know, Boon Boon, it, it's just... Well, he's just so frustrating at times. Keep still, Arrow. He'll wake the black horse and he'll wake the man, then we'll be no better off. Mm. Thanks a lot, Wombat. Well done, Wombat. How can we ever thank you? Terrific job, Wombat. We knew you could do it. 
dreadful nuisance. No time for idle gossip. I've got to get something to eat. Mm, out of the way. Out of the way. Your friends are not free yet, Thara. I think I have a plan. I'm not going to get to see your plan in action, Thara. I've got to get back to the herd before my father sees that I'm missing. Well, you better be quick, Boon Boon. And thanks. Storm and Arrow would be gone for sure if it hadn't been for you. I really must go. Bye, Thara. Bye, Benny. Storm! Arrow! Quick jump! That's my horse! That's the Silver Colt! Don't let him get away! Follow me! Thara, Storm, washing off the scent of man? <laughs> I never want to get that close to humans again in my life. Then heed the law of the bush. Keep out of the way of man. All right, Benny, you've made your point. What's wrong with Arrow? He's not talking to us. He's weird, that cult. You'd think after Thara saved Not weird, Storm, just embarrassed and humiliated. He was trying to prove he was better than Thara and then had to be rescued by him. It doesn't make him too proud of himself. I don't think we've heard the last of it. Nor do I, Thara. But we grow by understanding others. And in so doing, we come to understand ourselves. Thara was right about Arrow. As time passed, he would grow more and more jealous. A fight was not far off. But Storm wasn't right about any of them getting too close to humans again. It happened again sooner than they thought. But the humans were not quite in the same shape and form as the men they had just eluded.